Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today I have another fun one. This is a 3D printed resin cruiser in 700 scale. You heard me right. So for those guys that build the 700 scale stuff, most of it's plastic. Every once in a while you'll spend quite a bit of money and get you something in resin. Well this is 3D printed. This is by um, SS models and I've built a couple of their other pieces I like them I think I think they're really good well we'll see how they do on this this is the uh, heavy cruiser Portland and this is how she appeared in 1942 the reason this is so significant is you can get a kit you can get a couple of different kits of the uh, um, Indianapolis which was her sister ship but those Indianapolis kits are you know, 1945-ish, their, their matchbox kit. Not terrible, but uh, I've converted one the best I could to a 1942 Portland. Eh, but I need, because of what I model, which is up to and including, you know, Midway, the Battle of Midway, and, and, and even right after now, um, in one 700 scale, I needed a Portland to complete my U.S. fleet. So now I have one. Let's look at this. Um... There's this plate drawing, okay. Uh, SS Model Studios, some of their 3D printed stuff that they've got. <coughs> Invoice here. How much did I pay for this? With shipping and everything, it was $91. I got it from eBay, from SS Models. I had it in a week. So it didn't take the slow boat from China. This thing got flown across the pond, which is which I appreciate. So here we are. Some of the some of the drawings of how it's supposed to parts are supposed to look. Those are awfully small for instructions. Awfully small for instructions. Ugh. Nice foam padding. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to use that for some other things. Let's start with... Where am I going to go here? Wow. That's anchor chain. That's 3D printed anchor chain. Awesome. Let's start with the hull. Let's take a look at this. I know what it's supposed to look like. Let's see what it does look like. And sure enough, it's a 700 scale hull. Um... And it's waterline, great. Um, doesn't look perfectly flat. Not even close. So I'll have to figure out how to get the bow out of this because it's bowed. Um, can I just say I'm not thrilled at that? Look at, I'm assuming that's supposed to be wood planking. Um, I guess once you paint it in the dark blue and whatnot, it shouldn't be bad. But that's incredibly oversized. Not a good start for, uh, for me. And for those guys from SS watching this, um, you know, sorry, I'm... I'm going to tell it how it is. Um, if it's great, it's great. If it's not great, it's not great. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. Um, and I've built enough models in my years that, uh, 50, over 55 years of modeling, that I kind of know what I expect. And that just, that was a little disappointing there. 
However, here's something that's not disappointing. Check out, holy cow, this is awesome. I know you can't see the detail on this, but including the, the life rafts, the main battery, this looks awesome. Uh, oh my gosh. The float planes, the seagull float planes, or seagulls? I think these are supposed to be seagulls. Anyway, um, I can't, I don't have anything to magnify this good enough to show you the detail on it. Down to the pontoons, everything. It, that, they look phenomenal. Um, I'm just looking at the deck and, and whatnot real quick and the bridge, which all looks really, oh my hell. Sorry. <laughs> I just saw this ladder. There's a ladder there. Look at the size of that in 3D print. That's amazing. Okay. Here's the detail. And the detail looks great. I mean, very, very, very good. My only eye opener here is the, uh, the wood planking supposedly on that deck. Just, I don't know. I probably would have left that alone. Um, in this scale or gone a lot finer um, anyway other than that uh, I mean the flipping detail on this thing I, I wish I could blow it up enough to show you the details I mean right 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 down in here uh, there's a couple of little ladders. Yeah, great. I mean, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful on that. We'll see how the fit is when we put this thing together. Look at this. We got some brass barrels for the main battery. That's nice. Sorry, I have to pause to take this in. This, this is exquisite. Okay, so here we've got <laughs> the radars. The radars <laughs> on the upper works, and they're phenomenal. Um, we've got the boat cranes um, here. You've got the rear mast, including the flagstaff that looks great. And getting this getting this off of the wafer, I'm gonna have to be extremely careful because there's so much fine detail here. But the smokestacks look look great. See those boat cranes in there? Um yeah, this the uh the life rafts, the detail on those, it's great. So, uh, wow. You, you know what to expect with 3D printing, and they definitely don't let you down here because it's, it's phenomenal. The detail you get is so much better than any injection molded 700 scale kit I've seen. Including with some photo apps, it's still better. Wow. Ooh. Very, very pleased so far. Other than the couple little hiccups I've shown you. Okay, we're going to look here at... Are those, tw those are 20 millimeter guns. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Um, the 1.1s... I think those are supposed to be 1.1s, not so much. The 525s, they look great. Um, and I'll point this out in a minute. The open directors, I want to say they're Mark 37 directors. I may be wrong. Mark 19, open, I don't know what they are. I'll have to, I'll have to look them up. But it's got the open directors on it. They look great. The boats look great. The... 
the um, catapults look great. I'm I'm in awe of this thing. Uh, I'm trying to see what else. The anchors look really good. The spare life rafts look good. Okay, so you're not going to be able to see them, but your 20 millimeters are down here. They look really, really good. 525s are over here in this area. And of the weapons, they they look, they look phenomenal. Um, and next to those are four, it looks like 1.1s. Um, not so much, but that's okay. I mean, compared to what else is out there, they're still better than any other 1.1 out there. The detail on these boats is superb. The life raft, you got the propel propeller guards. Uh, you're definitely going to want some good, good drawings or pictures, maybe from Nav Source. I haven't looked to see what they've got, but. Uh, you're going to want to look at some good drawings from the 1942 period of time and see, uh, you know, help you with construction on this because these little, um, little drawings, wherever I put them, <laughs> that's not going to be sufficient for putting this together, I don't believe. Not when I'm seeing all these fine little details and trying to figure it out from these tiny pictures. So, so SS, um, great work on your 3D printing. Um, the wood deck, a mm, little out of scale there. And get, get somebody who can draw, okay? That's... Okay, that's just, that's trash. But, but, all of the 3D printed stuff here looks great. Um, this is to be expected with any resin kit, by the way. I've had a few of these. Uh, one I tried to heat up and bend and I wound up breaking. <laughs> I had to re-glue it and just, I wound up having to live with it. Uh, don't know what the answer is, other than maybe... Well, on resin, you could pour half of it, actually put a metal weight or a metal plate in, and then finish pouring, and that would help. But when it comes to 3D printing, I have no clue. I have no clue how they would get the, so this doesn't bow like that. Um, it, it's just disappointing, because now that's something I've got to try to fix, because I can't have a nice finished ship with a bow like this in it. But we'll figure that out. Uh, for the price, yeah, you know, it's it's what you'd expect, you know, paying 90 bucks for a, a 3D printed or a resin um, 700 scale ship. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, what you'd expect there. It's on par with that. But here, you don't have to dink around with a bunch of uh, photo etch. And if you want to put railings on it and stuff, be my guest. I am not a fan of doing that in 700, but some people will. You don't have fun doing that. But you put, there's a lot of other stuff on here you don't need to put photo etch on because it's already part of the 3D printing. So, yay. All right, well, there you go. That is my review of the SS models. One 700 scale USS Portland from 1942. Um, would I recommend this kit? If you need a Portland in 700 scale, there's this. There is there is a kit. I want to say it's Corsair Armada. I, I don't know. Very hard to come by in resin uh, that I have seen. It's kind of mythical because uh, I've only seen them a couple of times at a, a Nationals or someone's told me it was at Nationals and I didn't have the money or I wasn't there to pick it up or it sold too quickly. So it's an extremely rare kit. Uh, would I recommend this one? Yeah, I'll recommend this one. Definitely. Um, I do think SS needs to step up their game a little bit uh, to be more modeler, model building friendly. But as far as their their detail and their work on the 3D printing, good job. So, all right, there you get it from Mad Dog Merv. We'll see you again next week on the stash.